What's up guys, back to the current super video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about and showcasing resistant shred. So I have a bunch of issues with recording this video because there's not a real training area. I'm doing the beginner um, stage of arena. Um, arena currently has a giant magic defense, so um, variations have been a little bit different. I've had it red shred doing a ton, red shred doing nothing. I've critted without red shred and done way more than red shred. So it's been a little iffy. I think what I have, I have it down to a T. What I'm going to do is um, auto attack throughout the whole stage. Get to the end. Then I'm going to Aru ult, boost speed, boost speed. Because uh, both Rin and Erica boost speed. Then I'm going to use the Aru magic up, the Erica red shred, and then Rin ult. Uh, hoping for the best on that one. Um, then I'm gonna do a set. Well, I'm gonna do that one second. The first one I'm gonna do without red shred. Hopefully they don't crit, because <laughs> then the damage is gonna vary a lot. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are liking red shred. Is it doing stuff for you guys? Is it not doing enough work? And then let me know down below how you want me to do showcases like this in the future. It's a bit easier to showcase characters just going crazy. Like, um, for Union, the Lightning Union, I'm just gonna bring her to either, like, just the event and just have her do neutral damage. Or I'm just gonna, like, find a boss in story that's weak to electric and go crazy. A bit easier there. But when it's, like, a comparison, trying to get the exact same stuff to happen is hard say the least all right so this one boost speed oh we don't have all the so sad all right that's fine all right so he has that nothing we can do popping the ult then i guess we'll do that pop the red shred activate that all right don't crit all right so around 16k with the resistant shred now we're going to try and do that exact same order again but this time there will be no resistant shred on the team we'll see how much she does do note that the boss boosts damage um or not boost damage uh resist magic with that buff that it applied when it attacks the first time so <laughs> obviously rin should have done way more there but if both circumstances have the magic um, defense up, it'll still pretty much be the same results as if they didn't at all. So unfortunately, we're not going to see crazy, crazy numbers. I know I hit 30k, 29k pretty consistently with crits when I had red shred up. When the buff went away, of course. Um, Alright, so this time, no red shred. Get ult real quick. Alright, so we're gonna ult. Then we're gonna get the magic buff. And without red shred, 13k. So we did what? 3,000 more damage. As you can see, not the greatest. Um, of course, there are. I'm sure the damage would be a bit different if we had, um, whatchamacallit, the defense wasn't boosted. Like right now, the defense isn't boosted, so you're probably going to see a lot higher numbers. Like, let's see how much this does. 15k, not too much. But anyway. That's pretty much red shred. I don't. There's not really much to say about it. It's not the greatest. Um, I'm sure if you had a better DPS than Erica, and you were to do this, it would just do more damage. Um, from what I've seen, red shred one doesn't hold a candle to the other resistance shred. So I'm very excited to see what red shred two does. Um, Personally, I don't see a use in Erica. Unfortunately, um, she looks a lot more um, better on my physical team 
as let me pull up the team I was going to showcase um, and talk about the Leah on the team. So all these units are 555 because they are free, but I have the Dark Leah, this one at 111. From what I've seen in the event for this Iris, she was doing, I believe, 10, 11k on crits, and then with Res Shred up, um, and maybe one other buff, I'm not too sure, because I wasn't, you know, I was hitting auto most of the time, but I saw her doing 17k with Res Shred up, so good bump, uh, good jump up, they were both crits, um, still not anything super insane, uh, just because, unfortunately, this Erica doesn't hit the hardest, um, Obviously, if we had someone like Union up, she would be hitting way more and way, I wouldn't say faster, but, you know, we're already getting a speed buff from Ren, and uh, Union would be doing more damage on more attacks, and not having a normal basic attack will help her. So overall, Red Shred 1, not really it, not really worth summoning, not really worth trying to throw on the team. Uh, I'm sure if you were to do an arena to where this team would, let's say, Aru dies, um... Rin dies, and then it's Yun Yun, and then Erica pops up. Erica pops her Red Shred, and in the last like five seconds, your Dark Attacks do a lot, like not a lot more damage, but do a like chunk more of damage. Um, I've been seeing that in Arena. That's a viable strategy, but it's not anything that you would have up front, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Let me know down below. Like I said, what are your thoughts on this unit? If you have her, um, are you skipping and waiting for Red Shred two? All that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know as well. Like I said, how you want me to do these types of videos in the future. If you want me to edit it or just like kind of go in and show the full experience. Uh, I know some people like that over the edited one. Or some people just, you know, they just want to see the numbers and go, all right, sick. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.